Hello, everyone. My name is Vivek Murthy, and I'm the 19th Surgeon General of the United States. Thank you. Now, when I tell people that I'm Surgeon General, they usually expect me to tell them what to eat and how to exercise, but I'm not going to do that today. Instead, I want you to consider this. If I could tell you that there was one factor in your life that could lower your risk of having a heart attack or a stroke, that could increase your chances of living longer, that could increase your productivity at work and the likelihood that you would get a promotion, and that could even increase your success at losing weight, what would that factor be? It turns out that factor would be happiness. By happiness, I don't mean the satisfaction that comes from indulgence or from hedonism. What I mean, in fact, is the emotional well-being that comes from fulfillment, from social connection, and from love. Happiness affects us on a biological level. It lowers stress hormones as well as inflammatory markers. And in fact, even when you control for smoking, physical activity, and other health behaviors, it turns out hap happier people live longer. Happiness, in fact, is protective. As a doctor, I've cared for many patients over the years with a range of illnesses, from diabetes to heart disease to cancer. But I will tell you that perhaps the most common condition that I have seen is unhappiness. Unhappiness that stems from isolation, from a lack of meaning, and from a loss of self-worth. Now you might wonder, does happiness really lead to better health or is it the other way around? Do you in fact need help to be happy? And I would tell you that in fact it turns out that only 10% of our long-term happiness is really based on external factors. The remaining 90% is based on how we process life events and circumstances. So can we train our minds to be happy? The answer is yes. We know from research that gratitude, kindness, exercise, meditation, and social connection can be used to cultivate happiness. This can look like taking a few minutes at night to write down what you're grateful for. It can look like making time to eat dinner with your family. Or it can look like taking 15 minutes during the day to exercise or to meditate. So as we grapple with the challenges of how to create a healthier world and healthier lives, let's remember that happiness is a powerful tool for improving health. Creating more happiness in our lives and in the lives of the people around us could be one of the most important steps that we take to creating a healthier and stronger world. Thank you.